Okay, so this is the subject of environmental studies, which we are going to study here. And the chapter code and the course code is CHE110. So first of all, let me talk a little bit about the book, textbook, which we are referring. This is the textbook of environmental study by Dave and Kateva. So you can buy this because this book is written as per the LPU syllabus. Also, our course is LTP200. That means we will be having only two lectures per week. Course assessment model. This is the assessment model where your syllabus, your coursework is of 100 mark, which is divided into different segments. Like for attendance, you will get 5 marks. For continuous assessment, you will get 40 marks. For midterm examinations, which are multiple choice questions, you will get 20 marks. And for the end term examination, you will get 35 marks. The continuous assessment. This time, we have included a field work for as your continuous assessment. And this uh, in this case, you can make a group of maximum four persons, four students, and you can choose any topic related to environment science, environmental science. Your topic will be finalized in the second week, and you have to submit a final written report by 10th week. That means within two months. Your nature of the work will be in groups. You will be going outside and doing some field work related to environmental studies and evaluation will be based on your written report as well as your powerpoint presentations so why environmental studies because we need to protect our environment our environment is getting destroyed because of urbanizations and there are unprecedented environmental efforts going on so it's very important to study environmental studies. Our course objectives. Our course objectives are to provide the basic knowledge about our environment and its various components. Also to get the knowledge about the need and method to protect our environment. We need to protect our environment. So we must have some knowledge about our environment so that we can protect it. Uh, also to impart the knowledge about the various practices and effects of environment on human health. What government policies are doing and other things we will study in this point. There are so many global environment problems. So I have listed some of them. They are global warming, ozone layer depletion, acid rain, deforestation, loss of biodiversity, water pollution, desertification, waste disposal, rapid population growth, depletion of non-renewable energy sources, food and water shortage. But these are only a small list. There are many more global environmental problems available. For example, there is something I want to tell you about the acid rain, where the emissions from the companies, from the industries and automobiles including sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides reacts with atmospheric water or moisture forming sulfuric acid and nitric acid. These acids are coming to us in the form of acid rain because the rainwater contains heavy amount of acid and this is very dangerous. There is a new challenge of electronic waste which is really difficult to separate as the component of the electronics are very small and separation is more difficult. So recycling becomes more difficult. One more problem I want to focus is the overpopulation. Overpopulation which is the major problem in India because nobody uh, I mean, no politician is thinking about this and nobody is interested in stopping this. This chart, this uh, diagram shows the water availability all over the globe. 
and India it seems like yellow it seems yellow so yellow means it's already is in stress and it can go to worse condition if we don't manage properly our water resources this chart shows the situation when in uh, 2100 where the population will exceed by 100% that means the world will have the population of double the amount whatever we are having now so this is also example of overpopulation where we need to think how we can feed this much of population now let's talk about the course content the course is divided into six units with first unit is the introduction and natural resources where we will talk about all our natural resources available for example energy related problems forest resources water resources land resources etc in unit 2 we will study more about ecosystems in this in this chapter we are going to study about the food diagram energy change and food chain food web ecological pyramids energy flow and thermodynamics and many more things in unit 3 biodiversity and conservation we will study about the species genetics and ecosystem biodiversities we will also learn more about the values of biodiversities threats and its conservations also we will give example of india as a mega biodiversity nation in unit 4 we will study more about the environmental pollutions and causes, effect and control measures of all kind of pollutions including air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution, noise pollution, nuclear, nuclear hazards, solid waste management, etc. And in unit 5, which is related to environmental policies and practice, we will learn more about ethics effects of fireworks, global warming, ozone layer depletion, environmental protection act, wildlife protection act, forest conversion act, conservation act and many more things. And in the last unit that is social issue and environment where we will learn more about the population explosion, human health, environmental ethics, disaster management, environmental movement and many more things so this was just a small introduction about the course what what we are going to cover in this term so let's meet for the next lecture which will be about the introduction and natural resources thank you